Okay, everybody. Mike here, Way of Life Outdoor Survival. Well, y'all, I was gonna do a live stream, but uh, I just found out I can't do a live stream unless I have a thousand subscribers. So, anyway, we're still gonna cook. I'm gonna record everything, do a little video, and I'll get it up quick as I can. But uh, show y'all kind of what I got going on today. I'm gonna have to sit you over here, and I'm gonna have to adjust the camera a little bit to where the glare of this light maybe uh, maybe it won't be too bad all right y'all anyway um fourth of july i just want to tell everybody happy fourth of july and uh i want to tell you guys you know everybody enjoys fourth of july but um it's not just about cookouts and you know having a good time but uh fireworks and stuff like that what it's about is uh remembering what Independence Day means, y'all. And, uh, you know, i just like to say thank you for everybody that's paid the price for our freedom. And, uh, you know, that's a high price to pay. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get on get started. I just wanna tell everybody happy 4th of July. I'm celebrating a little bit myself, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing tonight, I have got a bunch of stuff out of the garden. Um, actually, I've got, uh, I took some pork loin, which it didn't come from the garden, but I got some pork loin, got it already cut up in a skillet. And we're going to get that started, get that cooking a little bit. And what we're going to do, Tony Saturas Creole seasoning. We're going to add a little bit of that to our pork. And we're going to kind of get this pork going, let it kind of sear just a little bit, get it just about done before we add anything to it. Um, I also took some potatoes and uh, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna make kind of an Alfredo potato and um, a real creamy Alfredo potato. And uh, tell y'all what I did, I've got some squash. I did a mixed squash. What I'm gonna do, I've got uh, winter squash. I've got straight neck yellow squash, which I've already cut off of these y'all. And I've got zucchini and I'm gonna do a I guess it would be kind of like a casserole. Let me free my hands up here. And uh, let me get this stuff turned on and going here. I'm going to turn it up a little bit to get everything started real good. Real good and then I'll uh, adjust the temperature. But I just want to tell everybody, you know, those of you that don't know, uh, I've been away for a while and, and um, there's a reason behind that, y'all. Uh, you guys know I was unemployed last year about this time and uh, the company I worked for, uh, I was in the leather industry and they, they shut down, um, sold out and sold everything to China and um, a lot of us lost our jobs and uh, there for about three months it was a pretty big struggle trying to find a job and everything but uh, I went to work for the local water district and uh, about two months after I went to work there, there was a couple more people that worked there and um, everybody moved on somewhere else so I was kind of left by myself which uh, pretty big responsibility you know um, we uh, uh, like I guess about two months after I was into it um, like I said it was just me um, got some more help now and everything uh, but I'm actually uh, studying getting my operator's license to operate a water district and uh, I actually take my test. I, I'm, I've signed up to take my test this month, and uh, as soon as they give a test again, I'll be taking my test. I get my license. It uh, means more money and more responsibility and a uh, better position. I'm actually looked at right now as a field supervisor, so um, that's what I've been doing, y'all. It, it's um, I'm on call 24/7, 365 days a year. Um, water line breaks, I have to go. So uh, that's what I've been doing, y'all. And like I've told you, I, I put a couple videos on. Um, since I've come back, I did a video letting everybody know that I was back and uh, uh, got all that stuff going. And uh, did a little video, walk through the garden, um, harvesting some wild asparagus and stuff like that. And actually, y'all, some of the stuff I showed you in the garden, that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, got my pork shearing here. Let me quit talking and get this stuff going a little bit. I'm going to be adding some more stuff to this as I go, y'all. What I'm going to do with this pork, I'm going to do kind of a green tomato and sweet pepper barbecue. And uh, 
I've actually done this before and it turned out really good y'all so we're gonna cut up some of this green tomato actually grow these tomatoes in the garden um, I know that glare is killing the camera let me see if I can adjust that a little bit we may go down this way so you guys can see what I'm doing there we go that's a little better anyway you don't have to see my ugly face anyway um, it's all about the food tonight but uh, you, I was going to do all this outside, y'all. Like I said, 4th of July, everybody cooks out and does stuff. But uh, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. We've had thunderstorms, pretty bad weather, especially for 4th of July. So I decided to move inside. And like I said, y'all, I was going to do a live stream. But I did not realize that YouTube had changed their criteria. And I have to have a 1,000 subscribers before I can do a live stream. Which I'm a long way for a thousand, but anyway, I'm gonna keep on making videos, y'all. And like I said, y'all, you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm doing the best I can to put videos out. Um, I'm trying to view more content. Actually, I was in a, one of Yankee's live streams earlier. I'm sure all you know Yankee, Yankee's Outdoor Adventures. Um, great guy. Yankee's a wonderful guy. Does a lot for the community. Actually, uh, when I first started doing YouTube, I got hooked up with a couple people, Corey Survival and Yankee, and. Uh, Yankee introduced me to the community, and I just want to tell you guys, I appreciate all the support I've gotten from you. Um, you guys have been great, and uh, a lot, I've already talked to a lot of you guys about, um, you know, where I've been and what I've been doing, and um, you guys have been so understanding. Just a great community, y'all, and I can't express enough my gratitude and how much I appreciate it. And I love the camaraderie and the fellowship of YouTube, and that's why I'm trying to get back in here and do everything I can to keep putting videos out. And, I'm going to add a little bit more of this Creole seasoning here. It's already starting to smell pretty good now. Alright, and uh, i got my tomatoes cut up there. And uh, this squash I got going, it's fixing to start boiling here in a minute. I'm actually going to add some, some uh, green onion tops. I grow these in the garden too. I've got red onions, yellow onions, white onions. I growed all that in the garden. I'm going to try to get this all in here. Like I said, y'all, I did not realize until I was just fixing to go live a while ago that they had changed the criteria. And um, I had planned on doing about a 45 minute to an hour live stream. But, uh, y'all, this might be a little lengthy video, but I wasn't planning on doing it this way. But sometimes we have changed our plan. I'm going to get this oven going because uh, once I get once I get these potatoes and... Uh, once I get the potatoes and uh, the squash cooked about half done, then I'm gonna kind of do a casserole and put it in the oven and uh, let that pork get going. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Of course, y'all know I'm using my cast iron. I love cooking with cast iron. Y'all can see I got a stack of cast iron over there. We use quite a bit of it. Um, I've actually made a uh, kind of a homemade real thin barbecue that I'm going to add to the pork after I get the tomatoes. And what I'm doing, y'all, I'm going to take this sweet pepper, um, just a sweet bell pepper, I'm going to add that to the pork when it gets just a little more done. And uh, uh, add the green tomatoes, and the green tomatoes, the acidity from the green tomatoes is going to kind of tenderize the meat and stuff of this pork. Like I said, I cut it pretty thin. It's not going to take a long time to cook this. But uh, once we get all this other stuff going, Get this stuff boiling real good. It won't take too long here, but uh, hope everybody's enjoying the 4th of July. I know I've been enjoying mine. Uh oh, what's going on here? Something happened. All right, got the oven going now. I'm gonna heat the oven to about 350, maybe, maybe even 400 degrees. But uh, y'all really miss being part of YouTube. And, um, like I said, the fellowship and camaraderie and everybody's understanding. And it's just great, y'all. I love it. And, uh, all right. Let's add a little bit of black pepper to that. Add some black pepper to our pork. All right. So we get this going here. Squash should be boiling here. It's starting to kind of move around a little bit. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go and add these green peppers just because they take a little longer to cook than the tomatoes do. Um, 
All I've done was dice that up. I'm just going to let it run the whole time. I'm going to tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt to my squash. A little bit of iodized salt to my potatoes. All right. I can go and move some of this out of the way. Give myself some more room here. I didn't add any kind of oil or anything. This pork is gonna it's gonna provide its own oil and keep everything from sticking. Oh yeah. See what? That's gonna be close enough. I think we can go and add our green tomato. squash, squash and zucchini mix there, I think we'll get enough of that, all right now, you gotta be careful, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt to this uh, pork, just because of tomatoes and um, maybe a little more Creole, See what else we're gonna do. Oh yeah, it's starting to come in there now. Yeah, it's starting to come in. There. So what? I got another pan. It's a little bigger. The water's starting to come over the top. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this over here to the sink. Put this in another pan that's a little bigger. There we go. Now, better get to cooking now. Once that's cooked, it's the boil and it won't take it long. This may not take as long as I thought, y'all. I don't know. We're about 13 minutes now. I think within about 30 minutes or so we can have this done. Maybe 45. It may take an hour to do all this. Boy, that sweet pepper and that green tomato and that Cajun. Ooh. I wish y'all could smell this. Y'all, like I said, just bear with me. I wasn't planning on doing this as a video. I was planning on doing this live. That way I'd kind of talk to y'all while I was cooking. I went on and had everything cut up and prepared where it wouldn't take so long. But anyway. I like to have just a little drink when I'm cooking. All right. How's it going? Got my potatoes going pretty good. Squash seems to be doing all right. I 
Oh yeah, that'll be picking up pretty good. Okay. Now that we got that green pepper in there, now this is a barbecue sauce I have made, so I'm gonna go and add some of that in there. And I'm gonna keep this bowl because I might have to add a little water just to keep it from sticking. I know this ain't got a lot to do with outdoors and survival, but uh, I'm kind of thinking of uh, changing my name, my name on my channel from Way of Life Outdoors Survival just to uh, Way of Life because uh, y'all, you know, I do a lot of different content. I do everything from survival to hunting to fishing to um, what we do in the garden and um, bushcraft stuff. I uh, do a lot of different content. And, um, the reason I do what I do is just because um, it's the way I was raised, um, it's the way I live every day, and it, it's a way of life. And uh, I'm thinking about changing my name of my channel to Way of Life, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Like I said, y'all, I'm uh, I'm still kind of new to YouTube. I've only been doing this for, you know, a while. And uh, so if any of you guys have any idea, um, can tell me how to change my name, I may can just go in and edit it. I'm not sure going to my channel and edit it, but I'm not sure. But uh, if any of you guys know, then if you don't mind, leave a comment and let me know. And uh, I'm, I'm planning on changing my name to just just way of life and uh, or way of life and uh, I think that'll probably work out pretty good for what I do I think it's well suited for what I do oh yeah it's starting to smell pretty good great Sounding on my oven. I mean, my temperature's good. Wow. Add just a little bit more of this. Let's wow. tell you what else we're going to do. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. I don't measure a lot when I'm cooking y'all, I just go by the smell of it. Everybody kind of laughs at that, but it's the truth. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder here. Everything. Okay. Tell you what, we got the meat browned and got everything mixed in there. So what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna put a top on this. Turn it down just a little bit where to cook real slow and tender, it won't get tough on us. And the squash is starting to boil, it won't take just a few minutes, we'll have that ready to mix up. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna be alright. Let that squash cook down a little bit. Oh, uh, we're not 20 minutes yet, so we're doing pretty good. I think we'll be able to finish this within about 40 some minutes, 45 minutes maybe. And y'all, while, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to show y'all what I did. Um, I took a jalapeno plant 
and the chili poblano, I think is what it, how you pronounce it, um, peppers, and I crossbred them. And this is what I come up with. Um, they're about the shape of a jalapeno. But y'all, I'm gonna tell you what. You talk about hot. <laughs> these things are hot. I give some of these to a couple buddies of mine. I'm telling you what, if you eat half of one of these peppers, you're a bad man. <laughs> That's all I can say. They are hot, y'all. Um, I've raised, you know, I showed you guys in the garden, I've raised a lot of stuff. We can vegetables. We try to, you know, do all we can to, to use what we have here instead of having to go out and buy stuff. And, um, you know, it's just so much healthier. You know, I, I've told you guys before how I'm against uh, preservatives and additives and uh, growth hormones in meat and, you know, all this stuff. I understand why the companies do this because they try to produce as much as they can off of each animal, but um, I don't don't believe in that. Um, you know, you guys know me. I, I go just as all natural as I can. I very seldom take any kind of medicine. Uh, kind of make my own medicine from natural herbs and plants around here. And, um, you know, I learned a lot of this stuff, you know, just over the years and as I grew up. And, um, you know, I tell everybody, if we didn't make it, grow it, or kill it, we didn't have it. And, y'all, that's pretty much the truth. Oh, yeah, that squash is starting to tender up real good. we we'll get this stuff done, we'll probably put it back in this other skillet, this other pan. Put it in the oven for a while, too. Get rid of this. Wash this pan up a little bit. Out of here. Yes, I do. Thought I had everything pretty much set up, y'all. Like I said, I did not know that YouTube had changed their criteria, and um, you know, I've really enjoyed the live streams because I feel like I get to hang out with everybody and you know, um, spend some time, have conversations, uh, and I'm gonna miss that, but. Um, if I do get up to a thousand subscribers, I'll start doing it again. Uh, it's gonna take me a while, you know, like I said, y'all, I was up to about 300. And uh, then, like I told you, this job happened and um, I lost my job and then got this new job and I haven't been able to do a lot of videos and content and stuff. I just haven't had time until recently and um, I'm trying to work it out, get my schedule where I can still do stuff like this because I, I miss it and I, I really enjoy it. But. Uh, you know, I lost a few subscribers, and I understand why. You know, I wasn't on here for probably six months, um, and it killed me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was hard, hard for me to get used to doing that. You know, I, I had, I was just getting used to doing YouTube, and um, like I said, I made several friends and really enjoy what we was doing. And now I feel like I'm pretty much just starting all over. And uh, but y'all know, I, I was trying to get on the show alone, and. Uh, a lot of people, I guess, uh, I had several people message me and email me and stuff talking about, uh, you know, they thought I had gotten on the show, the reason I hadn't been around, but now y'all, uh, you know, season six is on now, actually at nine o'clock tonight, nine o'clock my time, um, I'm going to be watching, uh, I think it's episode five of season six, and you guys know that uh, I couldn't say anything then because they are very secretive about this show, but... Uh, I was actually called and um, talked to last year a couple times. Um, I was actually under consideration for season six, but I did not make the cut. I did not get picked. Um, don't really know why. They don't give you a reason why. But, uh, you know, I understand. I mean, there's so many. I think there was, I think for season five, there was probably, I think it was like 7,500 people put in. And uh, every year it just gets, I mean, every season it just gets more and more popular. And uh, really enjoy the show, you know. They, um, in case you guys don't know, they take you out, 10 people, um, they pick 10 people to go, you get to pick 10 items from a list, I think there's probably about 50 different items on the list you can pick from, different things, axes, saw, uh, you know, fire starter, um, knife, um, so many different things to pick from, but you can only take 10, and uh, they take you secluded areas, they've been to Vancouver Island, Canada, they've been to uh, Patagonia, South America, um, Actually, season six, they're in the Arctic, and uh, you know, I was I was hoping to get on that show, y'all, because uh, you know it would better me and my family, and plus, uh, 
just a challenge to be able to do something like that. I, you know, I think that would be the ultimate test of, of you know, the things I do and, and my skill level. I, I feel like I could really do this, but uh, everybody thought that's where I've been, y'all. Well, it's not. <laughs> I wish. I mean, you know, but uh, I did not get picked. Like I said, I did not get dropped, but, you know, I'm still putting in. I've actually put in for season seven. If they do have a season seven, I, I haven't heard anything, but uh, I have put in for it. Um, I've got some more video footage that I'm going to send in. And uh, I'm going to keep trying, y'all. That's all I can say. And uh, like I said, I, I'm doing everything I can now just to keep up making videos and stuff. And um, I, I know I've fallen behind, and I, I feel like I've let, you, you know, let some of you guys down um, by not being able to support you the way I want to. But uh, y'all, like I said, bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I miss it. I enjoy it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get back as much as I can. And I may not be able to do as many videos as I used to do, but... I'm going to keep trying, y'all, and I'm going to keep making videos and putting them on here. And, um, I'm going to try to support you guys as much as I can watching your channels and your videos. And um, I was actually, um, Yankee had a live stream earlier, and uh, I was on there talking to some of them and uh, talking to Yankee and everybody. And um, just reminds me how much I miss it and the camaraderie and, you know, the fellowship. And, um, it's an amazing thing, the community, what YouTube I mean, it's, it's not like all you do is make videos and give and give and give. I mean, um, I get as much back as I, as I give. Actually, I, here lately, I've been getting more out of it than what I've been giving. But uh, like I said, y'all, I'm doing the best I can. All right, the squash is starting to cook on down a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to take my other pan. I'm going to go and put... I got some butter here. I'm gonna go and put that in. Get that ready to put in the pan. That way I can dump my squash on top of it when it gets ready. Set this back over here out of the way. And like I said, y'all, I was gonna was gonna have a cookout day, have some friends over. I was gonna try to do some live streaming while I had friends over and everything, but uh, um, just didn't work out that way. The weather's been terrible. Um, thunderstorms, bunch of rain, um, been pretty rough, but tell you guys what, while this is cooking, I want to introduce you guys to somebody. Smirnoff has some really big news, which is why I had an American treasure to a new grandbaby born two days ago, and uh, I want to introduce y'all. This is going to be my new little right hand man for a while. Y'all, this is, this is Jesse Ritt, and uh, He's a new addition to our family. Um, my youngest stepdaughter, this is her son, um, her first child, and he's just sleeping right now, but I don't know if you guys can see very well, but he's a precious little thing. And uh, seven pound, 14 and a half ounces, 19 and a half inches long. Um, born healthy, everybody's healthy and happy, and that's the main thing, we are tickled to death, and I just wanna make sure you guys get to meet him. Um, he's an amazing little fellow. But, uh, yeah, I just want you guys to meet him. Um, talking about one proud grandpa right here, I just tell you. Um, six grandchildren all together, y'all. 51 years old. Um, love each and every one of them the same. That's, you know, I've, I've lived my life, done my thing, and, uh, you know, I was talking about the loan show, and that's one of the reasons I want to get on the loan show, y'all, is, uh, the prize is half a million dollars, 500,000 bucks, and, I could set up college funds for my grandkids, you know, um, several things I could do to better me and my family, and, uh, you know, that, that's, uh, that's the main reason I'm trying to get on there, but uh, a lot of it is, like I said, the challenge of it. Um, I don't really have anything to prove to anybody except myself, and I think it would be um, the biggest challenge I've went through in my life, you know. I've been dropped off several times in the outdoors with nothing. Um, Years, a few years ago, some of my buddies, they, before me and my wife got married, um, I've been dropped off several times in uh, the middle of wilderness. Uh, stayed up to 31 days with maybe just very few items, I think. Excuse me. Um, when I stayed 31 days, I think I took a Swiss Army knife, a fishing pole, and a tent. And the only reason I took a tent because it was on uh, National Forest land, and I can't cut no trees or build a shelter or anything like that. But... Uh, you know, y'all, I, I really feel 100% confident that I could do this if I could just get picked to get on this show. I'm not saying I could outlast or outdo anybody, but I honestly feel like I got just as much, just as good a chance as anybody with um, the skill level and, I mean, what I know and 
I know it wouldn't be easy. A lot of people think, you know, you sit back and watch your shows, you think, well, I could do that. Well, y'all, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. It's easy to sit back here with, you know, elbow propped up on armchair or recliner and say, hey, I can do that. But, uh, y'all, I'm gonna tell you something. Once you get out there, <laughs> it's not as easy to think. Like I said, right now, they are in the Arctic. And, y'all, you know, I can't wait to watch this show here at the Wild. You know, that's one of the things that I was doing before, um, before I, you know, had to have time away from YouTube to, you know, get things lined out. And, you know, I know all you guys tell me it's okay, life happens, you know, and life comes first. But, uh, you know, I miss YouTube. And, like I said, I'm going to keep trying to do everything I can to, to keep in touch with you guys and um, really enjoy what I do. And, um, but, you know, work and family has to come first. I mean, that's just the way it is. Like I said, y'all, I was hoping to be doing this live where I could be talking to you, hanging out. That's one reason I went on and got everything ready. I mean, you know, was because uh, that way I could hang out and talk to people and, you know, answer their comments and stuff like that. And um, I really miss it, y'all. I really do. Um, getting to hang out with everybody. And I don't know, I, I won't be able to do any live for a while unless I get a thousand subscribers. And, with no more time than I get, I say it's going to take me a while. Like I said, I lost a few subscribers, and I'm, I'm trying to just get back up to 300. I think I'm at 281 now, but anyway, you guys can support me. I'd really appreciate it, and I, I promise you I'll try to do my best to return the favor and support you back. But, uh, oh, man, that stuff's going to be all right. The squash is getting real close, y'all. I'll tell you what, while that's getting so close, I'm going to go and get everything ready and show you guys what I'm doing. Of course, you know I've got my butter already in there, all right? Y'all, I had taken, this is, uh, let me get this right here, regatta cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and a little bit of ranch, all mixed in together. And uh, I'm gonna go and put that in there. Get that ready while all I gotta do is mix it up. I tell you what, I'll show you what we got while we're doing it. Look there, y'all. Like I said, this is pork tenderloin. I just cut it up real fine, real small. Added some sweet pepper, some Creole seasoning, and some green tomato. And I'm hoping the city did that green tomato tenders this up. I've made this before. And, um, actually, I've only made it once before. I made it about a week ago. My wife was daughter they they loved it um so i'm on thought i'd make it for you guys and let you see it and, hey feel free any of you like what i'm doing here feel free to use my recipes this is most of the stuff i just come up with myself and uh, really enjoy cooking y'all especially cooking for the family ain't nothing like it i don't get to do it near as much as i want to but uh you know like i said this is Winter squash, which is kind of a kind of a sweet squash, almost like a butternut. It's kind of between a a butternut and a, it's a real sweet squash. And uh, let that cook down just a little bit more. And then I took zucchini and yellow straight neck squash, cut up some green onion tops, put in there with it. We got these potatoes going with a little bit of onion in them. They're they're getting about half done. They're, they're close to being done. And I don't want to cook them all the way down because I want to let the oven try to finish it. All right. Now we're going to cover that up and let it simmer. Ah, uh, we ain't going to let it simmer. We'll put it on about 3 out of 10. All right. So far, so good, y'all.
And uh, uh, like I said, when I was on uh, when I was on YouTube all the time before, I think I done 90 some videos, and um, you guys done great about supporting me. And, you know, I, like I said, I don't mean to let you down. It's just I've got you know responsibilities that I have to hold up to because um, what I get out here and do is all my family has, and uh, you know I do what I have to do, guys. Um, I hope y'all can understand. All right, I'll tell you what now. I'm gonna take, take my colander and we'll strain this down. There's what it looks like all done, y'all. And I'm gonna mix it in there, like I said. I told y'all already what I had in there. I'm gonna mix that up. I go, my wife don't get so mad at me when I cook. <laughs> I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. And then, now, we're gonna add just a little bit more salt. How's, how's them will do it? Bam! <laughs> add some black pepper. bit more garlic and I'm gonna put Italian seasoning just a little bit this stuff's pretty stout it's a mix of like basil and oregano and cilantro now what we got y'all all right now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set this whole thing off in the oven for a few minutes oh yeah now get rid of this potatoes are getting there I won't take them long now. This ain't gonna take just a few more minutes. 38 minutes, yeah. Probably in about, it might take an hour, tops. Check the pork, we don't want it to stick or get too dry. And I was gonna fix some Swiss chard and some spinach and stuff like that, but y'all, um, like I said, I was running short on time and it's um, been raining. I can't really get in the garden to harvest a whole lot more without wading mud up to my knees. But uh, maybe I'll do a video this week. And um, I did a video when I first started this garden show you guys um, how I had everything planned and how it was doing. So um, maybe sometime this week or this weekend um, I can get out there and um, show you guys the progress that it's made and go from there. I'm sorry about this light, y'all, but I have to have it. I don't, I don't mean for the glare to be messing you up. But. Turn this thing on. Man, that's good. And I might do some cornbread here in a few minutes. I tell you what, while we're sitting here, while we're sitting here, I'm gonna get everything I need out. Let's go and make up some cornbread. I do cornbread maybe a little different than anybody. Everybody else, my grandmother. That was a double yolk egg, y'all. These these eggs, 
are actually raised on the farm here where we live. Well, the property that joined our farm. My wife's brother raised them. A couple of eggs. Throw in a little bit of a what? Go and get these broke up. Crying a little bit. The daughters in there, I hear them talking. Do some cornbread. Sugar. You need to take about a spoon of sugar. Mix in with the cornbread. And we're gonna add a little bit of milk to it. Like I said, y'all, when I'm cooking, I don't mix nothing. I mean, I don't measure anything. My wife, she fusses at me sometimes because of, I'll come in here and create a dish that they're just amazed by. And she's like, you need to write that down. Well, I probably do, y'all, but <laughs> I just go by what I know, you know. I, I get in here and I get to going, and my grandmother, she's one pretty much taught me how to cook, and uh, she always said that the main ingredient is heart and love. And if you add those two things, everything else will work itself out. So. people around here that I grew up with but nobody sometimes they're amazed at the things I come up with in the kitchen I don't know what it is y'all but I love cooking that that means a whole lot you gotta love it you know tell you what I'm gonna set this off in there and I'm gonna check my squash out oh yeah it's doing real good y'all Everything doing what it's supposed to right now. All right, let's check these potatoes. Oh yeah, they're just about right, y'all. Hey, what? We're gonna go and drain them down. Let me get them over here to the sink. Drain them down a little bit.
There's our potatoes. What we're gonna do now, y'all. Take a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And then, we'll add some Alfredo. And this is homemade Alfredo sauce, y'all. I don't, I don't like um, store-bought Alfredo just because it's so thick I and mean, so stout. It's got such a strong taste to it. And this is going to be a real earthy taste here when you mix it with these potatoes. Never really made this before, y'all. This is kind of a new thing. Then I got some Parmesan, grated Parmesan. I'll add that off in there. Wash my hands. Be kind of an earthy taste because of the, the alfredo and the potato flavor mix, I think. I'll say something here just to show you what it is. You can't even see the tomatoes and the green peppers anymore because they have pretty much cooked down. And y'all look at that. I can just stop cut that. Look, I can cut that with my tongue. Um, the acidity on the tomato and the sweetness of that green pepper mixed with that homemade barbecue. Y'all, I'm telling you what, it will make your tongue slap your brain. <laughs> it's really good, y'all. Um, like I said, I come up with this about a week ago. Um, just one of those nights I was in the kitchen and um, said I was going to try something. And I think it was last Sunday. And uh, turned out real good. The family really liked it. So I'm doing it again. I want to do it for y'all. All right. You know what? These potatoes are really going to be all right, I think. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt to them. Maybe a, maybe a teaspoon more salt. And add a bit of garlic powder. Just a little. A little bit of onion powder. Get all that fixed up in there. Get all this butter mixed in real good. Just about done, y'all, I swear. Like I said, I didn't mean for it to be a long video. But... Alright, let me turn that off. Move the pork off the heat. Pop on it and let it sit. Get this butter mixed in these potatoes real good. trying to brag well, that's some that going good taters right there and I got a little bit of shredded uh, shredded cheddar I'm gonna just kind of 
sprinkle that over the top. Then we're going to slide this in the oven for just a few minutes, y'all. Oh, that's hot. The reason I'm using all these old beat up pans like that, y'all, because like I said, I was planning on doing this outside, but the weather just ain't going to let me. Alright, I think we're going to put our seasonings up. I'm very confident that that's all we need. But y'all, if you ain't never tried this stuff, Tony Satcher has. Let me see. Let me see if I can get you where you kind of see it. Tony Satcher is Creole. Love it, y'all. They also make a Cajun, and they make a blackening season for blackening. It's really good on, like, seafood and um, fish and stuff like that. You know, when you find you something you like, you kind of stick with it and use it in different ways. potatoes ain't gonna take much. All I want to do is melt the cheese on them. You know, I was talking about my wife being mad at me. I better clean some of this up real quick. Y'all give me just a second. I believe in pre rinse and everything, y'all. Y'all, 53 minutes. I think we're gonna have it. Uh, like I said, I meant to do an hour live stream. That's the way I had this planned out. But I did not realize that YouTube had changed the criteria. And I know it was different before because I had done live streams. I've done many live streams, and um, I don't know what happened. But they told me I couldn't do a live stream until I had a thousand subscribers. So anyway. going once this squashes all I'm waiting for the squashes to kind of thicken up a little bit and it'll be done and then we're just waiting on cornbread and uh, everything should be good I think it'll be good I hope it'll be good cornbread be done for long it won't take a long time I'm seasoned all right, so all my seasoning picked up, and I've got my mess cleaned up. And, um, pretty much in good shape, just waiting on the squash to get done. take time while I'm waiting here y'all tell y'all uh, you know like I said before I really appreciate uh, appreciate all the support and uh, the camaraderie and fellowship that YouTube provides me 
you know, I told you guys before that, you know, like I said, this is my way of life. This is the way I do every day. And um, most of what I do, whether it's here or outdoors, um, I do by myself because uh, not that many people that around here that's interested in what I do. And, uh, you know, I used to have a lot of buddies and we all hunted and fished together and stuff. But as we all got older and uh, got married and started having kids and, you know, grandkids and stuff, uh, you know, you don't get the time to do the things that you used to do. And um, I don't have that kind of camaraderie or friendship or fellowship anywhere else. And, you know, that's why YouTube is so important to me. And uh, that's why I want to get back to doing videos as much as I can. Like I said, y'all, I've just been um, grasping for time. I mean, you know, I, I have to really make time and, and, you know, it's hard. I mean, you know, to, to try to do everything I want to do. But uh, I'm hoping things are changing, getting better. Um, like I said, I've got some help at work now. One of my buddies, Gary. Uh, Gary probably watched this video and uh, I just want to give him a shout out, Gary Price. Um, he and I have been together since he was about five and I was about eight. Um, and buddies ever since, pretty much family. And, uh, if, you know, I don't have a little brother, but if I did, um, that's who it'd be. I mean, you know, if, if I could choose, that's who it would be. And, uh, you know, but uh, he's helping me now and um, um, things are getting better. Hopefully we, we still got a lot of work to do and a lot of things to catch up on. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, I can, I can, you know, get everything scheduled out to where I can get back to YouTube and get to doing more and more videos and uh, get to hanging out with you guys and watching some of you all's videos. I actually watched uh, Corey Survival. Um, Corey has helped me a lot. I want to give him a shout out. Um, uh, there's so many people, uh, you know, Yankee, uh, JNC, uh, I don't know, Pam's Outdoor Adventures, uh, um, Budget Bushcraft, uh, so many different people. I don't mean to leave anybody out, but I could sit here and name off probably 300 people that, that I have met on YouTube. And, you know, um, one of the things Yankee was saying earlier is like, uh, you know, we don't have to share and actually do the same thing. I mean, you know, people that, that do different stuff than I do, I still try to support them and watch their channel. And, you know, that's what makes this world go around, y'all, is um, variety and, and, you know, the individualism of each other and, you know, enjoying that. And, and, you know, you may learn something from each other. You may share, you know, share different things with each other. And, um, you know, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. And, um, you know, Josie Wales, uh, he's actually a guy that I, we cross paths about every day. Um, he works for a local telephone company and a uh, uh, um, great guy. Um, he supports me religiously. Um, you know, all these people and, and all you guys that I've met, um, you know, they're pulling for me to get on this show. They're pulling for me for my life to get, you know, get better. And, uh, you know, and, you know, that, I don't know. It, it, it's amazing, you know, the friends you can make. And, you know, I've got people all over the world that, that watch my content and that I try to support them back. And, you know, it's amazing. I mean, I get to see stuff through, through videos on YouTube that I'd never get to see or places I'd never get to go and stuff any otherwise. I mean, you know, and, uh, it's just amazing, I, and you know, I mean this, I mean this is very heartfelt when I say this, y'all, that, that you guys mean the world to me, and I appreciate you, and um, I miss you, and, and I'm hoping I can get things worked out, y'all, just like I said, bear with me and try to understand, and um, I'm doing all I can do, y'all, and um, I feel like sometimes I'm pulled in every direction and can't go nowhere, you know, but uh, um, things are getting better, um, things are getting back on track, and like I said, I'm trying to make more and more time to do stuff on YouTube, and, um, really looking forward to it, but uh, let's check this out, y'all. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's gonna be all right, y'all. Mm. That's good, y'all. Potatoes are good. Squash is done. All we're doing is trying to brown the cornbread, y'all, and it'll be done. But I know y'all have all seen cornbread before, no big deal, but uh, hey, y'all, I just want to tell you, I appreciate you, you know. 
Um, you don't know what this means to me. You guys support me and everything. But uh, anyway, y'all, I'm running past an hour, and I try not to do that. But um, I just want to tell you guys I appreciate you. Um, I enjoy spending time with you and getting to share stuff with you. And um, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate it. And uh, if you would, please like and subscribe to our videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Oh, happy 4th July.